My name is Stephanie Thomas, and I'm the founder of Thomas Econometrics. We've just released a new adverse impact tool that calculates some basic statistics of your selection decisions. I'd like to give you a demonstration and show you how the tool works. You can find the tool at our website, www.thomasecon.com. You'll find a link for the tool on the right-hand side of the main menu. So let's take a closer look. The tool can study four different types of selection decisions. You can look at hires, you can look at promotions, you can look at terminations, or reductions in force. So let's look at hires and do a sample analysis. There's a space to enter a title for your report. Let's call ours Sample. The first thing you'll need to do is to enter the head counts for the majority and minority individuals. You'll need the total and the number selected. The nice thing about this tool is that it works with any majority and minority groups. You can use it for gender, race, ethnicity, age, disability status, veteran status, sexual orientation, or any other demographic characteristic that has protected and non-protected individuals. So let's take a look at a gender analysis. So our majority group will be male and our minority group will be female. So let's go ahead and enter some sample data. Let's say that we had a total of 100 male applicants and we hired 25 of those 100. Let's say that we also had 100 female applicants and that we hired 11 of those. So now we've got our majority and minority head counts we're ready to select the statistical tests we'd like to perform. There's three different tests that you can perform. You can do an adverse impact ratio calculation, which is also known as the four-fifths rule or the 80% rule calculation. You can do a chi-square test analysis, or you can look at the proportions, also known as the standard deviations test. So let's look at all three of those tests for our sample data. And in addition to the analysis results, there's also an option to show a test description, and the tool will give you guidelines for interpretation. Keep in mind that these are only guidelines. So once you've selected the tests you'd like to see, and whether or not you'd like to see test descriptions and guidelines for interpretation, you're ready to actually perform the tests. To do that, just click on the Analyze button to calculate. You'll note that when you click on Analyze, you get a warning that says, I have read the disclaimer and agree to assume all responsibility and risk associated with this tool. If you agree, click OK to view your results. So let's see what we calculated. We calculated an adverse impact analysis. So let's look at our calculated statistics. We see that the selection rate for our pool number one minority candidates was 11 percent, 11 out of 100. Our selection rate for the Pool 1 majority candidates, the males, was 25 percent, 25 out of 100. So then we can calculate the adverse impact ratio, and we see that when we look at the minorities, which are females in this case, that ratio was 44 percent. So the minority adverse impact ratio is less than 80 percent, and based on the 80% rule or the four-fifths rule, you would conclude that there may be adverse impact associated with those selection decisions. The next test we calculated is the chi-square test. And here we see the number of hired, not hired, and total majority and minority, male and female. And we also see the expected value, the number of men and women we would have expected to hire under a gender-neutral process. So we see that the chi-square statistic here is 6.64. The likelihood of seeing these results in a neutral selection process is less than 1%. So we would infer that the outcome is consistent with the hypothesis that the selection process may not be neutral with respect to gender. And for the proportions test, we're testing the difference between the proportion of protected and non-protected selections. And again, we have the number of males and females hired and not hired. And we can calculate the unit of standard deviation based on those numbers. And when we do that calculation in this case, we see a value of negative 2.577. 
the proportion of women hired is more than two standard deviations below the proportion of total hired, and a result of two or more units of standard deviation is generally considered to be statistically significant. So we could infer from this analysis that the selection process may not be neutral with respect to gender. The other thing that this tool can do is it can study up to four different pools simultaneously. So for instance, if you were hiring for four different jobs, you could enter all of your data for those four different jobs and analyze it at the same time. And let's just look at the adverse impact ratio this time, and we'll keep the test description and the guidelines for selection. So we've entered the head counts for the majority and minority selections and totals for each of our four different pools, and now we're ready to analyze. And you'll see here in our sample report that the results for each of the pools are given individually. So there's a separate section for the first pool, the second pool, the third pool, and the fourth pool. Keep in mind that the tool is to be used as a reference only. It's not a replacement for advice from qualified consultants or legal counsel. So the next time you want to calculate some statistics associated with your selection decisions, you don't have to dig through your files to find that Excel spreadsheet or even dig through your desk to find the calculator. You can use the Thomas Econometrics Adverse Impact Tool. Bookmark the page and it'll be right there every time you need it.